Yeah, what's good? <laughs> what's good, you brother? Let me ask you, you know, Captain, we got when your girlfriend's a thought. Now you shouldn't forget a thought. Bro. That's just dumb. But I mean, shit. But you know, make sure like I'm sharing with you. Did video. Talk to the locker room and find the room filled with kids ready for the beat. Damn, I guess word around school was true. Buddy's trying to snuff the kids. Damn, Tim, you really should. You ready, kid? I don't know, but I know I ain't no punk. Let's say a prayer. Lord, please don't let this fool fall, my man. <laughs> That's fucked. D H O T. Got. The last words any man wants to hear about their girl. Right. This behavior describes a woman who has a great deal of body, aka a body to. But the question is, oh. how many bodies does one have to encounter before being considered a thought? So much. That's a good question, bro. You. How many bodies are too many for you? Are we talking five? To wife? Three. Thirty? Thirty? No, if you're the boy, fuck? Thirty. Don't really matter. Let's say the Lord's prayer. But I know what you're thinking. Damn, Tim. What happened to the good old days? The days of people having to wait until marriage. The days of practicing abstinence. That's all ancient. We're living in times where if you're still holding your weak heart, you're considered a bird. Corny, a.k.a. man's can't give so that leads to question can men be thought well let's tackle the continued existence of sexual double standard in society see according to the rules men can have as many encounters as they want and be called experienced play exactly city boys, but on the other end if the shorty gets more than five bodies short is off a thought definitely a key that can open all locks is considered a master key but a lot that can be opened by mm, that's a good uh expression bro now in theory biologically speaking <laughs> that is it only takes 30 men to impregnate all the women in the world bam by nature men are thoughts and that my god is where this story begins so for this story i'm gonna take you back, back to my high school years okay so third year in high school now by your junior year you're that seasoned vet odds are you know how to bag shorties you got that swag only thing left for most kids is to lose that card all right tim yeah, kid, time to become a man. Damn, you don't want to end up being the only kid without getting some. Yo, Tim, check this out, dog. Got to date with Lisa. Oh, word? Yeah. Okay. So, you're thinking about, you know, what? You know, I'm getting that. You getting any? Who, me? Come on, homie. You know I'm that guy. Now, trust me, I'm not that guy. So I get the fourth period, which was gym class. Now, ladies, here's a little gem. See, in locker rooms, all boys talk about is girls. Now, word around school was those girls. That's cap. I ain't gonna lie. We didn't really... What are we talking about? I ain't gonna lie. Me personally, I was just trying to get out the locker room. I ain't gonna lie. But, like... I mean, we talked about hoes. We talked about... We talked about everything. You right now, man. Is it true what they say about hoes? <laughs> Damn. Shorty's out here, kid. Oh, wow. She been passed around crazy. See, here's the problem. A few days earlier, I was vibing with my girl Rose. And to be honest, I didn't get that vibe. Shorty was real cool. But now I'm in a dilemma. Do I let her reputation change my perception? Or should I get to know her for myself? So onward, and I meet Rose at the gym class. Hey, Rose, I got something to ask you. Sure. Don't ask if she a hoe. Is it true? Is what true? You know, what they're saying around school? What are they saying around school? Well, you an idiot, bro. Uh, see... What is it, Tim? So, my guy, what do I do? Should I tell Shorty what the boys are saying in the locker room? Hell yeah, nah, nigga. Bro code 101, or should I keep it to myself? Keep it to yourself. Never mind. Now, come on, fam. I didn't want my first to be a body. Your first is supposed to be someone special. Someone Back. to you this moment with for the rest of your life. So, I get to the crib and get a call from Rose. Hello? Tim, hey, boys, tell me what they're saying around school. Well... Word around school is you're, you know, easy. What? Then baby girl hung up the phone. Damn, I guess she took that hard. So the next day, I get to gym class, and word around school was Jake, Rose's ex boyfriend, was gonna put hands on me. What the fuck? Just put Jake on blast for lying about her body. Now, I don't know what happened between the two. All I knew was, Nance was walking around spreading rumors that Rose was easy. You gotta remember, this is high school, my guy. Rumors spread around like roaches. They do. I got around school, and I'm about to get the beats. So I get to the locker room and find the room filled with kids ready for the beats. Damn, I guess word around school was true. Buddy's trying to snuff the kids. Damn, Tim, you really should. You ready, kid? I don't know. 
but I know I ain't no punk. Let's say a prayer. Lord, please don't let this fool fold, my man. I can't be seen with him if he loses. What? I thought you were <laughs> So Jay puts his back down and, of course, has some words for me. Here, yeah, little bitch. I'm going to beat you up. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. <laughs> like I always say, never let your opponent get the first move. You, my guy, must initiate the combat. That is facts. You really socked him good. Oh, damn. I didn't really mean to hit him that hard. Now comes the worst part of fighting. See, as you know, word got around school that there was a fight in the locker room, and the teacher had found out all about it. Oh, yeah, that's the worst part, bro. Both of you to the principal's office. So we get to the office, and the principal made it clear. Since I was technically defending myself, I got a three-day suspension. So, so because you're defending yourself, you still get in trouble. But that's just the stupidest thing about school, bro. School God, made no sense, bro. Seven days suspension since he was the initiator. Now on to after school. And as you can guess, the only thing left for me was to inform my dad that I've been suspended yet again. So I decided the best solution was to tell my dad my side of the story as soon as he gets home before the school principal call. Hey, Dad, how's it going? Oh, not great, son. Been a rough day. Damn, Dad's not in the best mood. Man's gonna kill me if he finds out about me getting suspended. But I decided to go for it. Dad, see, I got psyched. <laughs> you know, fuck your way, bro. So while my dad was downstairs, I got to his room, unhooked the house phone. Yeah, I wish I could do that. My mom, we never really had a house phone ever, bro. I'm letting this man find out. I wish I got to do that. <laughs> what? Said it? Video done? This is it. Bros is the funniest movie of the year. I had sex with that 65 year old. Wait, no, they didn't even talk about fucking yet. There we go. I was about to say, but anyway, that's it, bro. One week later. Ah, oh, shit. A letter from Tim's school. I wonder what that's about. Ah, oh, shit. We are writing you to inform you that your child, Tim, has been suspended for three days. What? Uh-oh. <laughs> that's fucked. The story. Never let one's perception determine who you are. Hey, but for the rest, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe.